And here today, Whitney and John are together to give recognition to the worth and to the beauty of love. I love your spontaneity and how you're willing to do just about anything with anyone. I love how you encourage me daily. What I think I love most, how you challenge me. You challenge me to be the very best version of myself in every part of my life, in my faith, in my career, and in my conversation. I could not ask for a better life partner. I promise to honor you, support you, love you unconditionally, and choose you every day for the rest of my life. Except on the days that UNC plays Duke. <laughs> and to add God's blessing to the words which will unite them in marriage. May we all be reminded today of the strength and the beauty and the commitment of marriage. And may we renew and refresh our vows as Whitney and John make theirs to one another in this moment. Today we've come together to witness the blessing and the joining of these two lives and from them and for them, out of the routine, ordinary life, the extraordinary has happened. They met each other, fell in love, and are making their commitment to one another official today with their wedding. A good marriage must be created. It is always being committed to this love that you bring today. It is never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say, I love you every day. And it is not just marrying the right person, but it is being the right partner and it's loving one another for life. When I look at you, I see our future. I've always joked and said that there is something special about speaking your dreams to existence. You are my best dream, and I know this is only the beginning. This future between you and I is filled with laughter, support, and warmth. It is within these arms and shoulders I promise to comfort you in times of uncertainty and doubt. This heart, I promise to love you hard, no longer as my friend or my girlfriend, but my wife. Whitney and John are patient. Whitney and John are kind. They do not envy. They do not boast. They are not proud. <laughs> Whitney and John do not dishonor one another. They are not self-seeking. Whitney and John are not easily angered. They keep no record of wrongs. Whitney and John do not delight in evil, but rejoice with the truth. They always protect, always trust, always hope, always persevere. The love that Whitney and John share today will never fail. Whitney and John, the covenant which you're about to make today with each other is meant to be a beautiful and a sacred expression of your love for one another. And as you pledge your vows to each other, and as you commit your lives to each other, we ask that you do so in all seriousness, yet with a deep sense of joy, with a deep conviction that you're committing yourself to a dynamic and a growing relationship of trust, mutual support, and caring love.
be done, you may now kiss your bride. It took them time and love and maturing to get to this point. Whitney would be a different person today if she had never met John. They both push each other in all aspects of life. I love you both so much. Whitney has a sister and John is a brother. Right. 